Hey everybody, Tom Zenner, Jet Set Magazine, along with one of the most recognizable faces and famous people in the whole world, Sir Richard Branson. Great to see you, Sir Richard Branson. Thank you very much for your uh, wonderful introduction. <laughs> okay, well here's a, a great day and another screening of your documentary. And do, are you finding the same reaction wherever you go? Because there isn't a part of the world or a part of the United States or anywhere that isn't affected by drugs. So are you finding the same type of reaction everywhere you do screen it? Yes, I mean, th there's a danger that we end up screening it to people who are already converted. Um, but you know, what, what, all the documentary is basically saying is um, treat drugs as a health problem, mm -hmm. not a criminal problem. Uh, you know, don't lock, don't lock up your, your children or your brothers and sisters. And uh, in countries where they do that, it works. And in countries where they send people to prison, it doesn't work. So uh, you know, that's, that's mm -hmm. the message we're trying to push. You know, when you get involved with anything, I would imagine you have very big goals, you high expectations, a business, whatever it might be. How about with this documentary? What did you want to accomplish with it? And, and what have you so far? Well, we're, I'm part of a global commission on drugs, which is basically um, 15 ex-presidents and myself who have, who have looked at the war on drugs. It's been a failure. And um, what, we, what we want to see happen uh, is for governments to experiment with different approaches. Uh, the current approach has definitely not worked. We, we, we don't want people harmed. We want people helped. Mm. Um, and uh, and you know, we want, we want uh, laws changed. Yeah. Okay, there's a lot of things that you could attach your legacy to when it's all done. Is this one of them that you want it to be? Is, uh, would you like to see whatever you can accomplish with this being one of them? Well, I think you know, enormous amount of misery um, would be solved if, if, if we can resolve this problem. Um, so, so many people are harmed by drugs, and um, we think there's a better way of a, a better way of avoiding that, and that is to um, you know is is is, is to help help people and not 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 imprison people. Yeah. Okay, shift gears for a quick second. A lot of people that read the magazine, very successful entrepreneurs, business people, tycoons all over the world. When they think of you. They think of a guy that has fun and is successful. How much of your success is the fact that you do have fun and you do create fun around you? Uh, I think a lot. I think if I think if, um, if if businesses take themselves too seriously, then uh, all their employees are deadly serious, and and, and most of the, your time you spend at work. So uh, work should be fun. It, uh, life should be fun. And um, so I have a blast, and hopefully the people who work for Virgin have a blast. And uh, and, and therefore, hopefully, our customers have a blast. I think you know, if, if one of our stewardesses is on a plane and smiling and having fun, mm -hmm. then our customers will be having fun as well. Ever hang with someone that can actually keep up with you? <laughs> uh, my mum. Uh, she she, she uh, uh, moves much quicker mm -hmm. than I do, and I have to struggle to keep up with her. OK, a couple last questions. Do you ever remember a time in your life where you didn't have that adventurous spirit? Were you born with it? Has everything you touched uh, involve being adventurous and just going for it? I think, uh, whether I was born with it, I was, my, my parents definitely brought me up to be adventurous. And, you know, that, I mean, I was, they, my mum dumped me out of the car at age six and told me to make my own way home. And that was about three miles from home. And I got, I got lost. So, you know, her whole approach was, don't, you know, don't watch television, get out there and play and do things. And then how about, last question, how come so many things involve flying? Balloons, airlines, what is it? Spaces. Where did that come from? Yes, where did that come from? Yeah, it's a good question. Um, I flew a lot because I had a record company all over the world. I hated the experience and I thought, you know, let's screw it, let's just start an airline and see if we can, you know, create the kind of airline I'd like to fly on. And um, and uh, yeah, then, you know, with, with with space travel, I waited for NASA to offer me a ticket. They never did, so I thought I'd build our own space space line. Um, and um, so I think a lot of the best businesses come out of you know, frustration and fe a feeling that you can do it better. All right. Well, hey, it's an honor to have you on the cover <laughs> of the September-October issue of Jet Set. Hope that gets better. Great seeing you, Sir Richard Thanks, Branson. Sir. Thank Cheers. you. Appreciate Thanks. it.